Hello, hello, hello my friends. Happy weekend. Weathered Shed here, Jerry Landry. Come on in. I am going to show you a easy way to transform an old cabinet door. So come on in and join me. Say hello as you come in. I am just gonna get you guys pulled up on my iPad here so that I can say hello to you <clears throat> as you hop on in. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. I've got you guys up here, Coolio, yes. All right, super, say hello, hello, hey Annette, hello. All right, guys, so I am Jerry Landry from The Weathered Shed, in case you um, are new to following me or watching today. And I'm excited to show you guys um, a quick IOD. Well, it'll be fairly quick, right? <laughs> Compared to how some projects can take you like a half a day, right? Um, so we are going to demo how to use Iron Orchid Design decor transfer and stamps to transform um, an old pine cabinet door. So say hello as you come in, guys. Uh, let's see here. I wanna make sure I can see you guys okay. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, there we go. All right, things are scrolling now. Hello, Linda. Hello, Joanna. So if you guys didn't see the post earlier, this is the cabinet door, the original, <clears throat> how it looks. I had purchased two of these for one dollar, you guys, one dollar each <laughs> at my local Habitat for Humanity Restore. Um, I couldn't believe it, one dollar. So I'm like, I have to have them for a dollar. I will find something to do with them, right? So, um, so I decided I am going to make um, some cool wall decor using these um, these doors and so far what I have done at this point is I have painted um, the pine cabinet actually only one coat so I'm gonna flip you guys down hopefully you can see um, this is a fairly large uh, door I'm gonna measure it real quick here uh, but it is like 31 inches long uh, by 24 inches wide so it's fairly large I do have my camera all the way to the top so I'm hoping that it will work for this demonstration. If not, I can move the camera back and kind of put it at a different angle. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get it all in here. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty darn good. Um, let me just uh, adjust a little bit here, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me, bear with me. All right. Um, why are my... Don't you guys just love Facebook? Um, <laughs> every day there is something new with it, right? Um, some days things scroll, some things they don't. Um, <laughs> so all you can see here right now is that I have painted the pine board. I'm gonna tell you guys about all the products that I've used. I actually use, this color is called Dollar Bill. It's not coming up, there we go coming up on the screen fairly good uh, true to the color it is dollar bill it's kind of a gray green if you will um, a very very beautiful color um, so that is what I chose for my background and as I said I only put one coat on this guys because I am going for a very rustic look and I will be sanding this afterwards so <clears throat> so I'm just starting with the board as is like this and I'm going to be using um, the Iron Orchid Design Decor Transfer that is called Winter's Song Wreath. It is gorgeous, and I'm gonna hold this up to the camera so that you guys can see exactly what it looks like. It is in a soft black, and it's this beautiful, oops, let me see if I can get it in the camera here, beautiful floral wreath that is 24 by 24. It's huge, um, it's gorgeous and uh, has a lot of detail in it. Oh, there we go, I am in the camera now. So that is what it looks like and that is what I'm going to be applying to this, okay? Um, in each one of the tubes, if you're not familiar with the, um, the Iron Orchid Design products, um, with the transfers inside each one of the tubes, which I just dropped, is an applicator stick like this. 
The transfer itself <clears throat> comes on this protected backing sheet. It's loose in the container, um, but it's just there to protect the adhesion um, so there doesn't get any dust on it. And so you can kind of line it up on your surface without it sticking. Um, and guys, if you wouldn't mind <clears throat> helping me out, this would really help me in my business. If you could show some love, show some love, you get my drift down here. Show me some love. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> oh, because that is how we folks in small business get seen um, on social media. The more you spread the word, the better it is for us. So I am planning on hanging this, as you guys can see, horizontally. So I'm doing it a little bit different. Um, I like that it, it'll be unique that way and the hinges will be at the top. Okay, so I'm actually gonna slide this down so that you guys can kind of see, <clears throat> hopefully see the hinges at the top here. Um, and again, because of the magnitude of this and the size, and I want you guys to be fairly close to me to watch this process, um, I'm going to have to make a few adjustments in the camera along the way, so just bear with me, all right? Um, so the transfer, like I said, this one is 24 by 24. I have these in stock in my online store um, at theweatheredshed.com. Um, so you can see the all of the IOD products out there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slip out the backing sheet <clears throat> off of here. And you guys are already getting the idea of how beautiful this is going to look now that I removed that backing sheet, right? What's wonderful about these transfers is they come with this grid. So you can utilize the grid to help you in lining up your design on your surface. Um, it is That is a new feature with the IOD transfers um, as of uh, this year, which is just awesome because it really does help you out with lining up. So... I am, because I have a handle down at the bottom and I have these hinges here, um, I will tweak my placement a little bit, but for most part, I'm just going to be eyeballing as far as the center goes. Maybe I'll use my, I will use my ruler here a little bit. So I've got about four inches there to the first line. And so I'm gonna go up just a tad like so. A little bit more. And then I feel pretty good about that. Like that. So now we're at about four and three quarters there. And Pretty good. I am pretty good right there, I think. And then on the sides, again, you can use the graph lines if you want, um, but I'm tweaking a little bit just because of the handles and the hinges. Um, so I think I'm going to leave that right about there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some painter's tape. Because of the size of this, guys, I'm taking some painter's tape and I'm going to tape down a few of the sides and the corners and this will help your transfer stay in place, okay? So that it doesn't slide around um, too much on you while you are rubbing on it, because that is what we're gonna do. All right. Um, gosh, guys, I don't know why I have like no comment. Oh, there we go. I can see some comments now. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Joanna. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Pam. Pam, what can't you get to work, my dear? What can't you get to work? You can't get what to work? Maybe I can help you. All right, so I'm taping, 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 and then I will get started. That's good old Facebook for you guys. 
<laughs> you can't get it working on your iPad. Oh yeah, yeah. Good morning, Julie. All right, so I think we are set here. And as you guys see, you know, I have these um, these cracks in the pine, obviously in the pine cabinet, right, where the boards are joined together. Um, and I am going to just take um, this exacto knife, I guess you call it, and cut in there as we go along. But I'm gonna just start applying. I'm just taking, again, the applicator stick that comes with the uh, decor transfer, and I'm just gonna start rubbing. And I'm gonna start up here at the top. So I'm gonna move this down just a tad more so you guys can see. And I'm just gonna start rubbing like so. And you will see that your um, film will become translucent. And that means that the transfer has removed itself and is, a, is adhering to your surface. Now, a couple of things about the transfers, guys. There are so many variables in the DIY world as far as your surfaces, the mediums that you use, uh, the sealers and the top coats that you use. Um, so you really need to be cognizant of that when using the transfers because the results and the outcome, long-term outcome, um, will vary as well. So what I mean by that is some paints have VOCs in them. One of the reasons I chose to use American Paint Company paint is there are no VOCs. This is truly a chalk style paint, and therefore I don't have to worry about any kind of off-gassing that may affect the transfer's adherence um, once I'm completed with this. So we have had, you know, there are instances where the transfers, obviously because of the variables, humidity, dust, if there was dust on your transfer, um, if it's placed in direct sunlight, I mean, there's all sort of things that can affect how well the product will stay on the surface and last over time. So keep that in mind when you're using these, that you need to do a, it's suggested to do a test board or ask your stockists what they have found that works and doesn't work, okay? Now, you can probably hear every once in a while, there'll be like a crackling And you get like what we call you um, the, the wave in here. And if you ride the wave, which is like a bubble, your transfer will start going down a lot faster. That little bubble in there, little air pocket helps to push and remove the transfer. Now this is a large one, so it's gonna take me a little bit to get this down. So if you have things to do, don't worry about hurting my feelings. You can pop in and out as we go along. This is my project for this morning. So I was gonna do it with or without going live. So I figured if you guys are around, you wanna tune in here and there, that you can do that. So if I had two hands, obviously, <laughs> it would go a lot faster. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see over here, but I'm actually going on top of the hinge. How stinking cool is that? Right over the top of the hinge, like butter. It is um, pretty incredible, <laughs> as you guys will see. see. So if you do have to pop off, make sure you hop back on and watch the replay so that you can see the reveal, um, because it's pretty. it'll be pretty amazing. I think you will be very impressed with how this looks. Hey, Sheila. Hello, Bonnie. Hey, Loretta. I'm not having any internet issues on my end, my dear, so it's got to be on your side. So I would just restart, come back in. 
I don't think we're having any issues on my side, so. Hi, Mari. Thanks for joining. Happy weekend, girlfriend. Happy weekend. Good morning. Hey, Joy. I'm one busy lady. <laughs> Always, always, always doing something. Keeps life interesting. And I'll tell you, if the weather here in Wisconsin doesn't clear up, it's um, been raining, rained yesterday, raining today. Shabby Daddy and I are hoping it's going to clear up so that we can get out on our motorcycle for the first time this year. Um, for a little bit this afternoon and get out and enjoy some of our beautiful countryside but it's not looking very promising at the moment <laughs> so you guys the other thing you can do is you can kind of lift the transfer as you're going along too to also create that air pocket um, like I'm doing here and that will help move it along as well um, you can do that and what's nice is when you lift up the paper, if there's a teeny little piece that's left on here, you just lay it back down and, and continue on. It's very simple. So what some of us stockists have learned, and um, you know, we all collaborate, we have our own Facebook page. And what I mean by stockist, guys, is I'm an Iron Orchid Design stockist which means I, um, I'm an official stockist. I carry their products at theweatheredshed.com, um, which is where you can get these transfers and the stamps and all kinds of wonderful things. Um, but anyways, us stockists have a Facebook page, and so we're always sharing and learning and growing um, together. And with the transfers, you know, we share different information. Some people uh, with certain paints will do a top coat first, so they'll do their paint, and then they put a top coat down, and then they apply the transfer, and then top coat it again. Um, with some paints, you don't need to, like this one, because it's, um, it's very chalky, there's no VOCs, I didn't feel I needed a sealer in between. Um, and plus, you know, it also depends on what, what is your project, right? So is it on a piece that's going to be heavily used? Because obviously, you know, that plays a factor as well as to whether or not you want to put a top coat on it, right? Because you want it to hold up um, through being used. So just a lot of variables, like I said earlier. Um, and you guys can see how I'm going right down in the crack on here, uh, which is <laughs> just pretty stinking cool. Um, I'm just gonna press down in there again real good. And you know, if I lose a few little bits and pieces down in there, I don't really care because I'm actually going to be taking some light sandpaper um, and sanding this all down when I'm completed, completely done because I want it to be uh, a little rustic, a little shabby looking. Um, so that is my goal with this piece. <clears throat> I think the hardest thing when you're using iron orchid design products is parting with it <laughs> parting with your creation is, is very difficult because they all turn out so beautiful that you hate getting rid of them that is probably the hardest part so i'll get done with this and it'll sit here for um probably a several weeks before I decide whether or not it's gonna go down in my local boutique. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey Sally from Michigan, thanks for tuning in. So you guys can see, look at this. On this green, kind of a green gray color, how gorgeous is that? Oh, it is so beautiful. Now this transfer, you guys, is actually one of our paintable transfers. So if I wanted to, I literally could um, put a matte sealer on this and then I could come back in 
with a watered down chalk style paint or any type of different mediums like um, India ink pens or water um, uh, paint markers and things like that. And I could color in some of these floral elements on here. I mean, oh, it's just, it's so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Like I said, it's very hard to part with, <laughs> with pieces that you make because they um, are just simply beautiful. The detail, the design uh, detail in these is just amazing. So Jerry has got to stop talking and keep her arm moving here. So it's you guys. It's kind of like watching paint dry, isn't it? But you guys can ask me questions. You guys can ask me questions while we're doing this. And um, I think Shabby Daddy is watching, so maybe Shabby Daddy could put the actual IOD collections link um, in the comments. So if folks wanna go out and check out the product line itself while we're, while we're hanging out, they can do that. I would appreciate it. Hey Trish's Chic Furniture. Remind me of your first name again because um, my over 50 mind can't remember things anymore. <laughs> so remind me who that is. Thank you for watching, by the way. So for those of you that don't know, I am located in good old McQuanago, Wisconsin. Yes, McQuanago. It's an Indian name. We have lots of Indian names in our state, lots of towns named with Indian names. Menominee Falls, uh, Chippewa, um, oh my gosh. So many, so many places that are. So I am in the little town of McGuanago, and I do not have a storefront. Like I said, I just have my on-site online website, my online store, um, which is where you can find all of these IOD products. And I have the fastest shipping in the world. You can ask anyone that's ordered from me. <laughs> right? Oh, who can confirm that out there? I have, I have the fastest shipping in the Midwest, hands down. This gal, this gal is a one man show. And I, sh I, get, I get my orders fulfilled, I ship them right out. <laughs> oh. Although I shouldn't say I'm a, uh, a, one, a one woman, one man show because Shabby Daddy plays a huge part in uh, my business. So I do wanna give him a shout out because he's awesome. And uh, he does a lot of the back office stuff that this creative entrepreneur could not focus long enough to do. <laughs> So I can't do it without him, without Shabby Daddy. Hey Roxanne, good morning, my friend. All right, so we are halfway through. Like I said, it takes a little elbow grease. And again, it just depends on the, the surface as well, uh, what you're applying it to as to how easily it's going to go on to. Um, so it's kind of a, kind of a trial sometimes it's interesting because I've used um, I've used various different paints not tons because I tend to lean towards you know my few favorites but I will be trying more paints because I want to be able to help you guys as my followers as well with you know what what works well or what I've experienced so but you still got to try it for yourself so And you know what, guys? It's not like, it's not, um, these transfers aren't a huge investment, which, which I think is amazing. For the detail that is in this and the transformation that you get when you apply these to furniture, um, to things like this, like cabinet doors, um, the, the um, end result that you get far outweighs what you, 
what the cost is of the product. I mean, it's so stinking reasonable. Um, the stamps are amazing as well. I'm going to be using um, our typesetting stamp, which you guys will see in a little bit. All right. Ride the wave, Jerry. Ride the wave. Ride the wave. Come on, Jerry. So, again, the wave is that little bubble. Once you get that going, then it really starts to lay down and get that little air bubble. And sometimes I always say this, guys, if you watch any of my other ones where I've demoed the transfers, I think sometimes I press too hard for my own good. So, um, sometimes that is not a good thing either because um, I'm trying too hard and sometimes it just needs to be a softer touch. So, good morning. Oh, Loretta is in Texas. Woohoo! Bonnie. So Bonnie just confirmed what I said. Bonnie says, yes, I've ordered from you and you are quick as a bunny. <laughs> oh, glad to hear it, Bonnie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you almost get it as you almost get it while you're thinking about ordering. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Pam. Oh. Yeah, I try to be really fast. Try to be really fast. You know what, guys? I don't even think I checked the volume on this thing. I'm probably blast either blasting you guys out or you can't hear me very well. Am I too loud? I'm always loud, though. You just got to turn your volume down on your end because that's just the gal that I am. <laughs> oh, I tend to talk loud, my hubby tells me. All right. Ooh, ride the wave, ride the wave. Woot, woot, woot. Getting there. Whew. <sighs> I get done and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have burned like a few hundred calories, guys. So there's another upside for getting an IOD transfer. You burn some calories. <laughs> oh, and I am on a I am on Weight Watchers right now, and I could use that, so it's a good thing. I'll count that in my activity, applying an IOD transfer. <laughs> I wonder how many points will come up for that. Oh. Oh my gosh, I am so excited, you guys. So speaking of, uh, again, about IOD. We have our Stockist um, convention in, when is it? Is it, is it October? October, I believe it is, out in California. I cannot wait to get there and <clears throat> go live and share photos with you guys of all the new stuff that's coming and what we're going to learn. And oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Um, Iron Orchid Designs, IOD, guys. So when you see that IOD, you know it's Iron Orchid Designs. Um, it's comprised of, it's a family-run business, and the two sisters, Josie and Sally, are just amazing women, God-fearing women, and I love and adore them, and I've been following them for a very, very long time. So I absolutely love being part of their creative family. Um... There is nothing like their products on the market. They're amazing. Um, there may be look copies and lookalikes of some of the stuff, but nothing is like it. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the imposters. Because I really feel that these guys are number one. All right, so let's see. So I got, I'm down in another crack here. Ooh, and that's actually going on very well. All right, I'm gonna scoot you guys up just a tad. I'm sorry, my hat, my hat is in the way. Um, try and lean back here. But this is a big honking design, guys. So like I said, 
it's taken a while because this is a 24 by 24. <laughs> so it's no small potatoes. It's no small taters. And I could have started it ahead of time, but then, you know, you guys wouldn't get to hear all my, my stuff, all my chattiness about everything. And I really like to, I really like to show you guys, um, start pretty much start to finish if I can. Um, you know, the painting of the board obviously is no big deal. Um, so didn't show you that part, but I like you to sweat along with me while I do the labor so that you know what you're, what you're up, you're in for when you, uh, use the products. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Whew, I'm taking a break. I'm taking a second. Talks amongst yourselves because I am going to grab a something out of the fridge. <laughs> oh my gosh, all my waters are frozen. Oh no, there's one. Woo! We have one of those little, little dorm fridges and it gets stinking cold. No matter how far down I turn <clears throat> the temperature, <coughs> excuse me, it seems like the little bottles freeze up in there all the time. <clears throat> I've already had my coffee quota for the day. I was up very early this morning, <clears throat> as I am most mornings. Got woken up in the night by a couple of thunder boomers. <clears throat> Anybody have big plans for the weekend? Can you guys hear that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Riding the wave. Sections of this are going on. <clears throat> ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. So amazing. All right, I've got to scoot it up again because I can't lean over. My back is killing my back. So I'm going to move it up so I can reach my positioning is a little better this way. So again, guys, please, as you're joining or watching the replay, um, Give me a shout out to your friends and family. You know what that means. <clears throat> Show me the love. I would greatly appreciate it. Help me spread the word about these amazing products. And if you guys are new to watching I have lots of demos, guys. I don't know if you know, but I am on YouTube. I have my own YouTube channel. I'm trying to build up my followers out there. So if you go out there, it's, you know, obviously YouTube is all videos. Um, so you can see my various <clears throat> demo videos that I posted out there. So go out and subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And also in here on Facebook, if you click on videos on my page, you will see the various different videos that I have out there as well. Oh my gosh. So good. Hurry, Jerry, hurry. Woo. Whew. Ride the wave, ride the wave. All right. Bonnie says, I'm truly in love with the IOD products. I know. Once you, once you use them, you are hooked for life. <laughs> so Roxanne said, cookout for the weekend. Yep, we will be doing that as well. Um, Shabby Daddy, his daughter is in town from Germany. She has a wedding. So she will be hanging out with us tomorrow. And we will be... Grilling and chilling. 
Grilling and chilling. Oh, Bonnie says I first found she first found me on YouTube. That's awesome. Yes, I remember that. Oh, thanks for the kind words, Mari. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm all about helping, teaching others how to DIY beautiful things. So I hope that I'm inspiring you guys to try some things through my videos because you guys can do this stuff. You guys can do it. And the satisfaction that you get, that is the part that I love, right guys? The self-satisfaction that you get from actually taking the time to create is so rewarding. And in this crazy busy world that we all live in, we all don't take enough time. I know women especially, because they have families and jobs and don't take enough time for self-care in general. So that's what this is. This is self-care. DIYing is self-care, guys. It really is. So rewarding and fulfilling. So, so rewarding and refilling and fulfilling. All right. We are getting down to the wire for the big reveal. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Woot, woot. Woo. Look at that. Almost this whole section here. Look at how beautiful. Ah! Holy buckets. Holy buckets. That is amazing. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Right? The sound of that bubble. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, look at that. Right up on top of that little handle right there. So stinking cool. I know, I can't wait to see it either, Marty. That's why I'm trying to hurry. Hurry up, Jerry, get it on there. The suspense is killing us. Right? Come on, baby. So if you guys um, didn't see me, I had a guest appearance on um, the front porch page. When was that? Gosh, guys, was it like a couple weeks back already now already? Three weeks ago? Um, and I was there during their Makers Marathon um, demoing on their page live. And I did this wreath on a table that we had painted at the shop there at the store. We had, there was a painted table. And we put this wreath in the middle of that table. Holy cow, stinking gorgeous. It turned out beautiful. Right in the center of that table, you guys. Talk about bumping it up a notch. And I actually, um, I'll be posting about this, but Shabby Daddy and I went last weekend and we picked up a, a new, new to me, dining room table for our dining area because I just have this, you know, crappy um, pressed wood dining table because I have been waiting for the perfect, to find the perfect one. And I found this antique, guys, really super old oak round table 
gorgeous round oak table that I am going to be painting and probably applying either decor molds on it. I'm not sure yet, but I cannot wait to transform that table using IOD. It is going to be amazing. Um, it is what, and I, and guess what guys, guess what the, guess what the ticket was? Guess what the price was on it? That is even better. <laughs> Because you know me, I'm all about the deals. I'm all about scoring the deals. I paid $35. What? $35 for this oak pedestal dining room antique table, you guys. Mind blown. Mind blown. It is so gorgeous. Holy cow, is it beautiful. $35. Are you kidding me right now? Look at that. My graph is off. Woo yes. That is so gorgeous. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so you guys can see I have um, a couple areas that in this crack right here, I'm just going to take my hand and I'm going to press down. Make sure I rub that down. Any little pieces that might be flyaways or hung up there that aren't pressed down yet. So what I like to do, once I have it all laid down, guys, I like to, I'm gonna move it down just a tad. I like to take my hand, rub it over it, make sure that all the edges are down really well, like so. OMG, is this gorgeous. Holy buckets, it's so beautiful. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, now that I feel pretty confident about the edges, I'm going to take a soft cloth, which I just have a microfiber here, and I'm going to take and rub, and we call this burnishing, guys. And a few little pieces may come off here and there, but that's okay, you're not gonna, you're not going to, um, Notice it because it's it's just a kind of a shabby look we're going for. So you want to kind of burnish. And the other thing that's good is like this has a nap on it, so it's probably not the best thing to use. Um, you could use a what do they call those? They call them shop rags. You know how you guys get those in the in the boxes? They're blue like shop towels, but they're kind of paperish, <clears throat> made out of paper. Um, you can buy those at your big box stores like Home Depot and Menards. They're called shop towels. Those is that's what Josie likes to use when she does her burnishing. Um, but yeah, you just take it and rub all over it because you really want to make sure that everything is adhered really, really well. Especially if you're going to go over this with a top coat, right? You don't want anything getting underneath the transfer. All right. So that is key. Key, key, key. Woo! <sighs> that was a workout. Whoo-wee! All right. So, could it be I'm falling in love? Isn't that awesome? Okay, I want to show you guys <clears throat> if I can move it over so that you guys can see. But can you see? Let's see. I want to show you guys this. Look at Look at that hinge right there. I went right over the top of that hinge, you guys. How stinking cool is that? Can you see it? <clears throat> it's so hard to know where I am in the camera. And then there's the delay, so I have to wait um, till I can scoot things down. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. I think I'm getting in there now. But look at that, how it just goes right over top of the hinge there, you guys. So cool, right? So, so cool. And my intent is to hang this this way because I like the hinges at the top. Um, and because it's just something different. It's something different. And um, that's what I like. I like to have stuff that's different. Um, all right, so there we go. That's the, uh, that's the backdrop of my beautiful piece. 
<clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, some stamping on this and I'm going to put the word home across the center. So I'm using the capital letters from <clears throat> our typesetting stamp set. <clears throat> and you can see the capitals here. In the typesetting stamp set, guys, you get two sets of stamp. The capital letters and the small letters and the set of numbers. Um, so it's a really awesome set, very versatile. You will use it a ton, believe me. Um, so I am going to put the word home down here. So I've a couple things about the stamp. You condition them. When you first get them, before your first use, you will take a light, grit, um, a fine grit sandpaper and sand the back side, the side that you will be stamping. You will sand it with a fine grit sandpaper and that just helps condition the stamp um, so that you get all that detailing on there. So that is the first thing you need to do. And that's only the one time, that's for the first time use. So I'm just gonna lay down my letters here, get them where I want them. My little O for some reason is curling up. Probably because I am so you guys need to do as I say and don't do as I do. <laughs> because I am terrible when it comes to taking care of my brushes. I'm just gonna admit, we're just gonna, we're just gonna lay it all out here, tell you the truth. I am terrible about cleaning my brushes and I'm terrible about cleaning my stamps and all that kind of stuff like I should be. Um, so that is my plan is to do the word home in here. Now, the question becomes, because this is, and I think I already made up my mind because I was thinking about this before I went live, um, if I did the words in black, it might blend in too much with the backdrop. So, I'm going to be a little bit of a rebel, and I'm going to do almost like a tone on tone with this, um, I think this bohemian blue is going to look amazing, so we'll see. i got to get it open here so you guys can see what color it is. <clears throat> bohemian blue holy cow I've got like don't you guys hate that when you're when your paint gets like big chunks in it over time like it's just so annoying um, you got to dig out those chunks around the lid you know I hate that I just feel like you waste just so much paint when you have those big dry chunks at the top that you can't really use so I'm just cleaning my edge right now, guys. Hang on with me. Bear with me. Um, Bohemian blue, I think, is it's a very blue. It's kind of a, oh, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of a, a blue green, but it's very dark. Um, and I don't know if you guys will be able to tell um, with that lid, but I'm almost thinking I need to go that color or do I go really light? That is the challenge I have. So while you guys are thinking on that, and I know there's a delay, I'm pulling out some press and seal to put on my little board that I like to use for brayering. We're gonna use an IOD brayer. get my paint on my stamps that is what I like to use because I can just pull it off and I have a clean slate so throw it away and clean slate to start over again all right <clears throat> so I have the word home here um, so the question becomes do I do I do it in that darker bohemian blue do I do it in black which is Lincoln's hat or do I do it in a very, like a lighter, creamy color? I'm almost thinking the creamy color is gonna to be too much of a contrast. <clears throat> I think the dark too, Sandy. That's what I'm leaning towards. What do you guys think? Hey, Barb. Lisa Arnold, you love this? Yes, you do need to go check out the site. You will love what's out there. Theweatheredshed.com, my dear. Dark blue, 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 everyone's going blue. Yeah, because this is kind of a 
blue, gray, gray, green, <laughs> the dollar bill is. So I think that you're right. I think the bohemian blue is going to look gorgeous on here. Somebody said black. Somebody said black. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm almost thinking it's going to be too much black, guys, though. And, you know, I could take this color and I could lighten it up a little bit, too. So black, dark blue. So we've got a few blacks. We've got a lot of blues. And the thing is, this is kind of, you know, to me, I don't know. It's a different kind of color, um, which, you know, some people may not like for their home. Um, but then again, this dollar bill is kind of a, but it, I still consider it in, in the neutral family. So I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going to do the blue, guys. We're going to do the blue. We're going to check it out, see what happens. Um, if nothing else, like I said, I'm torn with whether or not I'm even going to get rid of this. And um, so I'll find a place for it. <laughs> I have no problem with that. I will find a place for it. All right. So I am looking at the camera. And I am thinking that I need to move up a little bit of my letters. And uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Shabby Daddy, are you on? I want to make sure I'm kind of centered here. Let's see. We've got 12. 12 is the center. Um, so I am a little high. And see the, the um, cracks in the board make you want to um, try to be in the middle of that middle board. But there's a little piece at the end that has a handle on. So it's deceiving where the center is. So I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just gonna kind of leave it right where it is. My spacing, make sure my spacing is good. So you do have to take time with this part because you don't want it to look totally goofy, right? So 10 and a half. So the E is coming in at about 10 and a half at the end of it. And the H is at about 11. So we definitely need to move over a tad. like so let's see how that is like i said it doesn't have to be exact just want it to be somewhat pleasing to the eye right um and this is handcrafted guys so it's not going to be perfect and we aren't going for perfect we just want it to be somewhat somewhat in alignment like that I think that looks good what do you guys think all right so now I'm taking wonky Facebook all right so now I'm taking this stamping black guys now that I have my my letters lined up and I'm gonna run around to the other side of the camera because you guys got to keep in mind I am doing this upside down I am, yeah, I'm doing it upside down. Uh, okay, I think that looks pretty good. Yep, and I'm gonna take a little pencil here, guys, because I wanna know where to, where the bottom of my, the corner and the bottom of my E is going to be once I pick up the letters, right? I almost forgot about that step, and you don't wanna forget about that step because you gotta know where you're going back to, right? So I'll just put a couple lines here so that I know where my alignment's gonna be, all right? And then you're just going to take your stamping block and I'm going to try and line that up on here as well. Like so. Press down because you want to pick up those letters onto your board, onto your stamping block like that. See? Voila! Simple as that. 
now I am taking my IOD brayer, guys. I have my paint on my, my press and seal board here. <laughs> and I'm just coating my brayer. This is why I love these brayers, hard rubber, guys. You don't wanna use a foam roller because a foam roller will push the paint down into your stamp and you won't get the nice clean details that you wanna get, okay? Oh my, my O is like, my O is curling up. Why is that happening? I probably left it laying in water too long. So you wanna just go ahead and brayer over the letters like so. And if you go off the edge like I just did, just take a baby wipe, wipe it off. The one thing about um, the chalk style paints though, when you're using them for, um, for lettering, um, you do have to kind of move quickly because they do dry fast. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna have to wipe this and try and put this on again because I don't think, I don't want it to dry. And you wanna get them somewhat juicy Okay, make sure you got your, all your letters covered there. And again, if it's, um, if there's a little couple areas that, you know, there's a lighter impression, that's okay because this is homemade, guys. So, oh no, look what happened. Ah, my O fell off. So I'm just going to deal with that when I'm done here because I will put that on separately so don't mind my hat being in the way because I want to make sure I get my alignment here where I want it okay once you set it down guys you're committed all right and then just press over the letters like so I'm gonna wipe up where that O fell all right, so press down over those letters. I could have used a um, the sheet that the stamps come on to, guys, if I wanted to. Um, a lot of times you'll see me do that. I just kind of freeform and use the, the letters just on the backer sheets. You can do that as well. Sometimes I actually find it easier than dealing with this black. But you know, whatever you're comfortable with, play around with it and figure out what you're comfortable with. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. So my O has lost some of its stickiness, so it's probably because I did not clean it well. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to go back and clean that and get it so it will stick again. But for right now, I'm just gonna freehand this in this spot right here hopefully hopefully I can get it aligned properly by eyeballing I think that's pretty good I'm being brave because I didn't even put it on a little sheet so I don't know you guys I'm sorry for my sniffles in the background here must be allergies or this just this darn changing weather all the time. One day it's 70s, next day it's 50s. There you go, home. I love it. I love that it's almost like a tone on tone effect, you guys. I absolutely love that. And I'll clean that up right there. Um, and like I said, this right here where I dropped my, um, my O with a little bit of paint on it, it's not a big deal because I can just take and wipe that off because um, it's not sealed yet, so I can fix those boo-boos. Put a little water on there, wipe that area. You really can't see it anyways with the design being so intricate and so much detailing in there. Um, and once I sand it, look at that, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. Let me dry that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, 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 right? Holy cow. So gorgeous. So what are your questions? 
Is that new, the stamping block? Oh, the stamping block's old, uh, Julie. I got it on Amazon a long, long time ago. Um, IOD does not, um, um, I don't think they have a stamping block anymore. We use these um, mounting thins a lot, which is what I was talking about before. It's basically like the, the plastic sheets um, and free freehand it. Um, they work really great, and they're great because most of your surfaces um, that you work on are not completely flat, um, so it really gives some flexibility there. But isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you guys love it. So let me um, let me flip you guys up a little bit towards me. I'll wait for the camera to adjust, and I'm hoping that I can show you guys the whole thing. So I may have to... Pull you back a little bit. So bear with the camera jiggling because it is going to jiggle a little bit. So let me flip you back, flip you up like so. See if I can get you guys a full view of this baby. Okay. Look at this. Are you guys able to see it? Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love this. Isn't it awesome? Um, Jimmy, so this is an old cabinet door. Look, look at the back of it. It's a pine cabinet door that I repurposed. How beautiful is that? Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous, yes. And so now somebody asked, will I be sealing this? Yes, I will be sealing it. Um, I most likely will use wax on it because um, it's going on my wall. So there's, not, there's no reason to put a heavy top coat or do anything like that to it. Um, I just need to put, I'll just do some waxing. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to distress this lightly. Um, so I'll distress it and then I'll put some wax on it and it will be good to go. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you guys like it. And if the sun comes out later today, I will put this outside so you guys can see it in the, in some better natural lighting and kind of get a good um, idea of the colors and whatnot. So again, you guys, you can find this, this particular transfer is called Winter Song Wreath. I have them in stock on my website at theweatheredshed.com. And um, you can find the decor stamps out there, all kinds of goodies. So if you have any other questions, just let me know. I know there'll be a lot of people watching the replay. Um, I will also post a link above um, to the IOD collection on my webpage. Um, so that you can find it that way as well, okay? Um, Lisa, I'm just going to look here before I say, before I sign off. Love it, love it, love it. It's beautiful. I was thinking on a table. Yes, Lisa, I, we did it on a table and it's gorgeous in the center of a table. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You don't ever need a floral arrangement uh, centerpiece in the middle of your table when you put this on it, right? <laughs> So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I might be coming to you later on today. If this weather doesn't cooperate, I'm going to be in here doing all kinds of things. So, so stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.